We all know it. We all have a love-hate relationship with it. It's two syllables. TikTok. Okay, so you know when you've been scrolling through TikTok and you come across someone's video and you kind of pause and you think, oh, he's cute or, oh, I think I would get along with this person. Well, that's basically my life, which is why today I'm going to reach out to strangers on TikTok and see if they want to be my friend. Oh, <laughs> that sounded so lonely. I don't really know how to justify this other than I just want to get to know more people and make a bigger, like, a range of friends. So I've had this idea for a few weeks now and every time I've gone on TikTok since and I've found someone that I think I want to reach out to, I've taken a screenshot of their account. I have them all in one album on my phone. So basically I'm going to go through all the ones I've taken a screenshot of and either reach out to them on Instagram DM or Snapchat. And I do just want to say I'm not a total creep for doing this because a lot of them have made videos saying please contact me because I want to get to know more people and all of them have their Instagrams or Snapchats listed in their descriptions. So I'm not like some crazy stalker and I'm very self-conscious about the fact that I look like a total loser right now but you know what I feel like if you want to make more friends you just have to get over yourself and you just have to go for it. Okay, let's get going. So I have about 13 people that I want to reach out to. And I just want to say, I'm only now realizing that 12 out of these 13 people are boys. <laughs> Maybe it's because my For You page just recommends more boys to me. I have one girl saved in here, um, but for the rest it's boys. And I am slightly ashamed of that fact. I'm also not trying to reach out to guys here and catch feelings. Like that's, that's not what we're trying to do. So I am slightly worried that no one's gonna respond, but you just have to try anyway, I think. Okay, I'm procrastinating now, I need to just start. So bachelor number one is Oreo in a parked car. That's his username. His name is Connor Smith. And I have the most hope for this one because he actually made a video where he said, please reach out to me because he wants to get to know more people. He has 48.3K followers. And I just want to add a side note here, I'm not doing this to get followers or to get clout or anything. I genuinely just want to do this as an experiment to see if I can make new friends. So he's put his Snapchat and his Instagram. So I'm just going to DM him on Instagram. Okay, how am I going to do this? Uh, I guess I just DM him, right? I need to figure this out. I'll be back just now. I have drafted the DM. It took me 10 minutes. Is that too cheesy? I don't know. Um, I don't know what to say. This is a very weird situation for me. I want to say that I'm from South Africa because I feel like that's like a selling point, you know? Because if he's from America, then maybe he doesn't know so many people from so many countries. So like, I want to wanna put that in there. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Oh my god, I sent it. Okay, it's been done. It's been done. There it is. Proof. It's been sent. How can I not... Why can't I find him? He has his Venmo on. <laughs> Which is interesting. I'm not gonna Venmo him though. I don't know what to say to these guys. Okay, wait. I've made a discovery. I see he has a photography page and then he also has a personal page. Damn it, but I've already followed him on his photography page. Oh, what have I done? Now I've followed him on both. Oh, shucks, that's so awkward. <laughs> you know what the problem is? I just realized I'm DMing them on Instagram, which means they're gonna look at my Instagram. Shoot, man. I don't look that good in my Instagram pictures. <laughs> okay, it says Snapchat DM me, but it said DM me. Does that mean a snap or does that mean a message? If he sees the picture, and he doesn't like what he sees, then my chances are out the window. Okay, so this is the picture that I took. I think it's cute. I don't think it's a disgrace. So now I need to obviously type something. Now that I'm looking at the picture, it's not so cute. I hope this is the right guy. Okay, his profile pic says something, but I can't see it because it's too small. Oh, that's his story. <laughs> I told you I was bad at Snapchat. Okay, I'm overthinking this too much. Oh, I I put a winky face there and it just looks very like I'm, it looks like I'm insinuating something. So I'm gonna take out the winky face and I'm gonna stick with the good old monkey covering the eyes. Also, I don't know how old any of these guys are. You know, TikTok is so like deceptive. Like someone could be 21 or someone could be 15. Maybe I should do TikTok. 
these dudes seem to be getting followers overnight. He has email. Maybe I should email him just to be a bit different. You know what? He put his email there. I'm gonna freaking email him. I know it seems weird, but he put his email there. So let's go do that. Man, what if this goes into his spam mail? Oops. I almost put a red heart, not because I wanted to, but because it was a typo. This next guy's definitely out of my league. He's just very attractive. I just realized that you can see my sweat stain in the Snapchats. No! Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. <gasps> Do you see how nervous I am? How much I'm sweating? It's only if I hold it at a specific angle, which I don't think I... You can't really see it because my hair's in the way. You guys better pray. You better pray to God that I didn't have any sweat stains in those snaps because that is, that is humiliating. I don't want any of them to think I'm hitting on them. I don't know how I feel about this one. But you know, as I'm going on, I'm feeling more and more self-conscious about this decision to do this video, so I'm just gonna roll with it. His username has the numbers 98 in them. So maybe that's when he was born. So how old would that make him? That would make him 22. He's old. Okay, not old, I don't wanna be rude, but like he's a grown up, you know? Okay, I've decided with this one, I'm not gonna ask him to be my friend. That sounds sad. I'm just gonna compliment his singing because he does sing very beautifully. And just like let him know that I found him on TikTok because as someone who's trying to grow their YouTube channel, I know how it feels to get feedback from people to be like, oh, hey, I really enjoyed this or whatever. So I'm just going to give him feedback and encouragement. The final message, the last one, guys. Send. There we go. Wow. Would you look at that? I feel hollow inside. I feel very stressed about this currently. Oh, a ladybug just sat on me. That's such a good omen. I'm so worried about these guys thinking I'm a creep, but... I didn't even consider that they might be creeps. Well, let's hope they're not. If they are, then I just don't have to respond. Why? Okay, well, that's it for this part of the video and um, I will let you know if and when any of them respond. Hello everyone, it is quite a few days later. I want to update you and I want to conclude this video, this social experiment, if you will. In conclusion, the people I snapchatted opened my snapchat and did not respond which is a bit rude the people i dm'd on instagram 99.9% .9 of them didn't respond didn't even bother to open the messages also quite rude but i'm not gonna let that affect my self-worth or my ego because someone did respond guys i knew he would pull through i knew if anyone was gonna respond he would be the one to respond the first person i dm'd connor responded and now i would just like to take you through the journey of our friendship which has i'd like to say has blossomed over the past few weeks so you know how in my opening message i started with the fact that i was from south africa well connor responded with that's awesome i've got three friends from south africa best accents in the world i freaking knew i had to say that i was south african because I knew that that would, that would get someone's attention. And it did, guys. It got me brownie points. By the way, apparently South African accents are the second most sexy accents in the world. And I don't really see how that's possible because they are the most... Just, we have such flat accents. I don't like our accents at all. But Connor picked up on that. So we talked about my accent for a little bit. And then I asked him about quarantine and corona. You know, the usual stuff. Then I found out which state in America he lives in and I'm not going to tell you that because I feel like that's private. Even though it is in his TikTok bio, I just want to leave that out. He told me which state he lives in and that's one of the states I'm considering applying to university in. So we talked a little bit about that. He told me a little bit about the United States and I asked him a few questions that I'd been wondering about since I've been thinking about applying there. And then we talked a little bit about school. All pretty standard stuff, right? Now this is where the problem came. I simply cannot do anything without making a total idiot of myself. And this is where that caught up to me. So the one evening I was watching The Vampire Diaries, then a subtitle pops up to tell me where the location is because it's relevant to the storyline. 
And it's not just the state he lives in, but the town as well. So me, probably slightly sleep deprived and definitely hyped up on chocolate, I take a picture of the subtitle and send it to Connor. And I'm like, coincidence? I think not. That was my first mistake. Because I thought we had a bubbling friendship, you know? I thought we could be comfortable with each other at this point. But my friend, Kayla, whom I had lengthy conversations about this with afterwards, informed me that most Americans aren't as open book as, shall we say, I am. So he responded with, what show is that? And I told him it was The Vampire Diaries. Then he liked my message. How the f am I supposed to respond to that? You don't. You don't respond. That's the answer. That's what normal people know. That's where the conversation ends. But no, I have persistence. I have great, great, great amounts of perseverance. So the next day, I send him another message saying, hope you had a good day. He responds with, you too, which is a very dry text. Another indication that the conversation is over but I don't stop there. So I proceed to send this. Thanks. So I just wanted to say, I'm fully aware that most people think it's very strange to just talk to strangers. So I just wanted to say thanks for being willing to get to know each other. My friends tell me I'm way too friendly. Okay. So then he responds with, don't worry about it. So now, by this point, I've realized that I've made the mistake and I've said too much and I should just stop talking because I'm just, I'm really digging myself into a very deep hole. So then I FaceTime my friend Kayla. I'm like, Kayla, what are we gonna do about this? Just like most girls would do, FaceTime their friend, plan out their strategy. So Kayla tells me that I need to stop. Kayla gives me very good advice. Do I listen to Kayla? No. So then I send him another message, which Kayla helped me work out. So. Have you gotten a lot of DMs since TikTok? Pretty, pretty neutral, pretty neutral message. Very proud of myself for that one because I'm aware at this point I was coming across very crazy. So then he's like, I mean, more than before I got TikTok. <sighs> and then I knew, I knew that I'd screwed up because at this point it was late at night. Kayla was asleep. I couldn't ask for her advice. There was no one there to keep me tame. And I proceeded to send this. Yeah. I bet a lot of random girls DM you. People are suckers for TikTok boys. Our lockdown's been extended by two weeks, dot dot dot. What the hell was I thinking? I wouldn't be able to tell you now, looking back. Clearly my judgement was clouded, because that is not the type of message you should be sending to someone who you already suspect thinks you're a bit weird. But I did it anyway. So then he responded with, that's too bad, I'm sorry. Then I said, it's okay, I don't actually mind so much, I enjoy my routine, just miss going on runs. And then he liked the message. And I like to think of myself as a semi-intelligent person, so I took the hint and I didn't DM him again. And that's the story of my friendship with Connor. Connor, if by some random chance you end up seeing this video, I apologize. I'm really sorry. That was not cool of me. And that concludes this social experiment. I'm very embarrassed. I feel like a total creep. I feel like this video portrays me like a total creep. Uh, I've learned a lot from myself about this experience, mainly that I lack self-control, but it was fun nonetheless. And I really hope you got some entertainment out of my embarrassment. So I am slightly worried that no one is actually gonna reach back to me. Can I say that? It is just, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Should I email him though? I don't know. I was, was wondering if you wanted to chat? No. Who says chat? Oh, I'm such a loser. I don't know if you can hear my family in the background. My mom is doing a Pilates class on Zoom. So if you can hear them, I apologize, but it is quarantine season, so we all have to work together. You can hear them.